Hey, what's up? My name is Mark from 12weekathlete.com. Today we're going to talk about how you're able to transform your body in 14 days. We're going to be doing 300 push-ups every day for seven days. Let's do this. Welcome everyone, my name is Mark Dress and I'm a personal trainer and sports scientist and on this channel I'm about to do something very different which I don't see a lot of YouTubers do and this is actually connecting with you on a so deep level. If, if you don't mind me asking, how, how important is what you eat combined with the exercise? I need to ask this. I mean, this 80-20 this rule applies a lot. So people mm -hmm. say 80% is diet, 20% is exercise. That's what you hear. Yeah. And there's some truth to it. But to say we're just focusing on diet, you can get some results, definitely. So mm -hmm. if you're not eating the right amount of calories or the right foods, you will not lose the weight. I mean, that is just fact. I take a step further. I look at, let's say, the exercise, the nutrition, also your stress levels, sleep is important, uh -huh. and general mindset. Mm -hmm. The reason why hypnosis works so well is because it's like a straight connection to your unconscious. And your unconscious mind is, is the mind which sucks up everything what happens ever since you were a child up until now. We need carbs, we need fat, we need protein, so cutting one of them out is not going to help you because your, your body needs fat as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so just eat everything in moderation, but the good type of fat and the good type of fat. Yeah, obviously, the, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little Very bit. Very good, because here we go. You talked about this, to doing some squats and some gentle things without weights. Could you show us what, what you mean? Oh yeah, for we sure. We need to get a bit of if you just wouldn't like yeah, to stand yeah, sure. there, we'll, so, we'll pick you up there. Um, normal body weight squat is just, you know, you put your arms to the front to balance yourself out, you squat back down and you might just go up to here and you push yourself back up. If you want, you know, you can even go all the way down and push yourself back up, but what happens is most of the time that people drop forward as that, if that is you, then just stop here and push yourself back up, then it's a flexibility issue. That's Perfect. how, that's how Good. it works. This would be the full burpee, is you jump back, roll down, and you jump at the top. Okay. That would be a full right. groupie motion. Okay, I haven't seen the one uh, that before in terms of like actually going down on the floor. Yeah. Normally I'll, I'll just see the ones where you just... I know, that's called a the... sprawl. Oh. I know people confuse these two exercises, but the good thing about the burpee is it's like a full body motion and yeah. why we, we were talking about fat burning, it yeah. gets your heart rate up. I coach people on health, fitness, nutrition, get them to the body shape they want. And I want to take this as real as possible and transfer my knowledge to you guys here on YouTube. Final question, best exercise for stress release? I guess your viewership has heard of HIIT training before. It's a high intensity interval training. Okay, I've heard of that. It's a bit like, you like running I heard, yeah. so um, it's a bit like comparing running to sprinting. It's a shorter version, it's a very high burst and very intense workout, releasing loads of fat burning hormones, making you lose weight in a shorter amount of time. And that's something I would recommend mm. to do. So tell us, Mark, so why, why is food so important for you know, the way we feel? And generally, it, it fuels your body. And mm. if you don't get the right fuel into your body, you feel tired, you feel slaggy, you feel not motivated, there's so many things linked to it, not focused. So that's why getting the right food, it's a bit like a car and, and fuel. So if you don't have the fuel, you don't feel right. Okay, but why is it that so many people do turn to bad foods when they're feeling a bit stressed, a bit anxious, a bit depressed maybe? Generally, when we talk about bad foods, it's about the food choices which are offered to us. And when we walk outside, most of the time we don't have these foods which we are having here. We go into the shop and we find the sandwich, the crisp, the stuff which seems like nice and quick. And it also gives and you the cheap. short boost. Yeah, and cheap as well. Yeah. Hello. Hi, is that Mark? Yes, it is. Someone who's certainly not lazy, a uh, specialist for the morning. He believes in staying fit in the city, and it's possible. Well, he can prove it's possible. It's Mark Dress and Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you doing? Yeah, great, thanks. Uh, but tell us about your YouTube and your Instagram. People are very interested, aren't they? What's happened? Did you expect it to blow up the way it has? Well, what happened, and this is quite interesting, is that I got emails from people because of the online presence. People can now search for, let's say, how to get healthy, how to lose weight, and so on and so forth. So they might come onto my website, but they are maybe based in Asia or USA or somewhere. So they can't see me personally face to face. And therefore, I started or I decided to create videos on YouTube to give advice. And that's what really took off. So this is Darren. Say hello. Hello. And uh, he's going to be taking the pictures today, so you're going to be seeing him in the background do all the stuff. Ready to go? Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. At the moment, I'm not saying it's my channel, it's our channel, because it is. It is really something where we all tune in together, we spend some time, you have a takeaway, I have a takeaway, I learn stuff. 
I just love it. Yeah, generally speaking, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.